All right, everybody, this guy, man, hometown kid, man, the hometown kid, man. I'm excited to do this because the future is here, man. Tristan, how you doing, brother? I'm chilling, you know, I'm already underway. Just uh, just focus on my fight now, get some good get some good sleep tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually gonna hit Mitch with, uh, do a little light workout with Ronnie, you know, go over the game plan. And I can't wait to get in the ring and execute my game plan. So I gotta ask you off the rip, what made you want to become a professional boxer? Well, I mean, it's just the the idea that you could like you could fight somebody and get away with it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm no, just no, 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 I'm joking. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I just I done I done soccer, you know. I done basketball, football, but it's just something about combative sports. Just I I was it, it attracted me, you know. So um, I remember going to a gym and I had an option to to choose karate or boxing. I was like, you know, I, I choose boxing, you know, because boxing is really, it's ranked one of the, uh, it's ranked at number one of one of the most difficult sports. And it's that for a reason, you know, you got to live, sleep, eat, you know, poop, you know, boxing. So, and uh, I, I like that. I like, I like to be tested and uh, I feel like it's just paid off, you know. So who are some boxing inspirations, like guys that you looked at maybe film wise or just saw them on TV and you were like, man. This is a, this, these are guys that I not so much emulate, but like if yeah. you look at their styles. Um, I say uh, Winky Wright. I like I like all the legendary fighters. Uh, I, I really like Marvis Hagler, Winky Wright, um, Jamal Charlo. I like I like all those fighters. Uh, Pernell Whitaker. That's actually who uh, I named in honor. It was it was an honor because around the time I remember I made my pro debut, that's when he passed. You know, I talked to him on the phone and everything, and unfortunately, I didn't. I never met him. But I did an honor. I did an honor of uh, you know Sweet Pea. I went over you know Sweet Tea, and everybody just it, it stuck to me. So I feel like that's that's the best the best name I got right now. But I say I'm, I'm more of like an old school type of guy. Like I like the old school where styles normally originate originated from. You know like Winky Wright. Um, I like Tommy Hearns, uh, Marvelous Hagler. I like all those fighters. Uh, even Salvador Sanchez. I hear a lot of people talk to me about that. They I remind them of Salvador Sanchez. So. See, that's dope. So if you could do a dream fight, you could fight with one fighter in a dream fight. Let's just say if the weights, let's say if the weight is off and everything, there's yeah. no weight restrictions on it, who would be the fight? I say George Foreman, man. Wow, you want to go there? George? George okay. George Foreman's a beast. And, I, I, and like I said, I want to be tested. And, uh, you know, I, I like I like firework shows. So that, that would be a dream fight. Perfect, perfect. So training in boxing, can you talk about a lot of people don't realize as a sport, I think personally it's one of the hardest sports to train for because it's nonstop. It's like you go in these camps and you yeah. come like, can you talk about how rigorous and how tough that is for you? Uh, it, it's tough. It's tough right now because, you know, like I said, you know, boxing and it's, it's really it's really every sport, but mainly boxing. You got to it's, it's, it's not just a, a job. You know, it's, it's, it's a lifestyle and you, you got to limit your free time. You got to get your, your rest and. And people might not say that's hard, but that's that's mentally, you know, it can be mentally draining sometimes. You know, you can't go out, go kick with your girlfriend, go kick with your friends, things like that. So um, it, it is it is a lifestyle. You know, you can't just treat it like uh, I'm going to do this. And then I'm, you can't treat it like you're going to be a part-time boxer and then do other things. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a difficult sport. And, you know, me to be honest, I'm happy I'm in it because I'm always, I'm always up for a challenge. Dope, dope. So before we go back into boxing, let's talk gaming. So, <laughs> and you were talking gaming earlier, so yeah. you're a gamer. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. can you tell the fans what you play, man? Like, what do you, what's your go-to? Like, if you, let's just say this. Let's say right now, I say, hey, we're going to have a tournament in here, all the boxes, everybody. What particular game would you play? Man, I tell you, you know, right now, I'm I'm a gaming freak. Like, okay. at my house, I have a VR set up. Okay. It's HD vibe. Got the things on the, on the wall, put the headset on. All that I got a PC, got an Xbox. <laughs> okay. So the games I really play, I play GTA on my PC. I play, uh, I play. I am. I do play Fortnite. Mm -hmm. I do play Call of Duty, but I, I'm still adjusting to the the battle royal type of type mm -hmm. stuff because mm -hmm. it is a lot harder than Fortnite. You know, mm -hmm. you don't know where people are coming. So I, I want to get into Call of Duty more. Um, I play. I play a bunch of games, man. A bunch of games. Battlefield, uh, Battlefront Two, Star Wars, all that, all that type of stuff. So this is a real gamer here. So. <laughs> Before we get into fight night, the possibilities. If you could pick a video game 
to be on. And they take you as a person and put you on a video game. Not a boxing game, but a video uh, not game. Not a boxing game? Oh, yeah. okay. what, would, what video game would it be? Not a boxing game. Um, this has been a unanimous answer say, when I ask everybody. I say Call of Duty, man. Wow. I want okay. to be an operator. One of the, the special, the special ops. Okay. I, I think that would be clean. So Black Ops and Modern Warfare. Black Ops, one? yeah. Black Ops or even Fortnite. Okay. I'm imagine it had me as a skin. <laughs> that would be tough. Because you know the unanimous answer has been GTA. Every time I ask anybody, any athlete, yeah. GTA is not even close. Like Call of Duty, that's a go. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, GTA, you can really make your own character, but it'll be tight. They did like the face scan stuff. Yeah. And that would be that would be that would be tight. Hey, well, man, we had to make that happen, Rockstar. But but now they got um. They got this new mod, all these celebrities playing T Grizzly yeah. called the Lifestyle Mod. That's my guy. I can, oh, really? T Grizzly, we're going to connect you. I'll right, be back to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be seeing, I'll be watching T Grizzly play, man. That stuff is funny. I will T let T him Grizzly know that funny. right when we get done with this. All right, so I talk sneakers as well, man. I'm a big okay. sneaker guy. So are you in the sneakers? Yeah, I'm in the sneakers. Uh, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still getting my feet wet, you know, into the. You know, when I have the the premiums and stuff like that, the ones you have to buy online. You know, I have I have like a bunch of ninety fives, a couple of Jordans, stuff like that. Um, but I want I want to get into get into it a little bit more, you know, because I know I know the the top ones you got to get online and stuff yeah. like that. I, I always got them at the store, mm -hmm. but I got I got a nice collection. I got a nice collection. Okay, so Air Max ninety five. So that's that's your thing. So would that be a shoe of like let's just say Nike or someone came to you and says, hey, we want to make a what they call a P P a player exclusive. Mm -hmm. So it'd be inspired by you. Would that be the shoe that you want inspired by your life? Like hey, you yeah, that would be tight. Okay. That would be tight. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I got I got the, the you know the Nintendos, ninety five Nintendos. Yes. I just got I saw them in the stores and uh, I don't know I don't know what they're called. I, I just picked up some a while back. They're Air Force Ones, uh -huh. but they got they're white and they got the Nike ball on each side. It's like one's oh, green, yeah, one green. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got those. Yes, yeah, I sir. Those up, so, That's you know. dope. That's dope. So. Back to boxing real quick. So obviously, you know, you got to fight this weekend. Um, when I tell you, there's people out here. When we talk, when I talk sports, especially boxing, when you look at the boxing now, especially the DFW, the names that are coming out. When you look at the state of boxing with all the young talent, what do you think about that? Because like, you're, you're part of this next wave, I, I believe. I think personally, like when you when you look at it, like when you talked about Hagler and Sugar Ray and Hearns, though, no, that was a wave in the '80s. And then it sort of dropped off at that particular weight class, even in your weight class. But now we're starting to see all these young names coming. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um, I think it's more like a, a new type of generation type thing. Because nowadays there's really not many um, world champions coming at coming world champs at like, you know, 27, you know, 32. Now it's, shoot, 20, 21, 22. You know, like Teofimo, Benavidez. All those, all those type of, all those type of guys. There, everybody. It's like, it's like a flow, you know. It's like a flow. There's, there's prospects coming up. And they're going at a faster, faster, faster track, faster pace. So it's, it's different. And uh, I feel like we have a lot of, a lot of talent down here in Texas that are potentially uh, some of the fighters who become world champions as well. And I feel like that's coming to light because Texas is really the place that are allowing fans to come into the, come into watch the fights in arenas. So I feel like, uh, I feel like. We have some uh, some good prospects coming. All right, last question. Let's talk some music real quick. So you mentioned T Grizzly, but what do you listen to, like music wise? Shoot, let me pull out my. <laughs> let me pull out. I listen you may to name drop somebody that I know. And that's gonna be funny. Yeah, uh, I listen to you know obviously the the mainstream. You know, okay. so I listen to some mainstream Drake, Lil Baby, uh, Roddy Rich, things like that. Uh, I like I like Kev uh, Kevo Money. Yeah, Kevo Money. Money. I like that song he said, uh, "Leave someday." And you know, I, I mix it up. I mix it up. I mix it up a little bit. So when the big fight happens, the, the true big fight for you, you gotta have a walkout. Yeah. Who do you want to walk out with you next to you for a song shoot. like that? Uh, shoot, I mean, that I mean, big fight, man. That, that's tough. I mean, so if you could get Drake, how would that feel for you? Drake, yeah, jeez, that 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 would be crazy. Forty OVO, <laughs> hey, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Uh, you know, that would be crazy. <laughs> All right, man. Before we get out of here, can you tell everybody where to follow you at, man, on social media and everything? Hey, did you know? Do you know how many times I said that would be crazy? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Hey, hey, I enjoyed this, man. This said, is a conversation. This ain't an interview, I said that like five times. Uh, you, can, you can follow me on Instagram, Tristan.Calgary. 
uh, Twitter, Team Tristan 302, Facebook, Tristan Copy. And uh, cop, cop the merch. It's, it's in my bio uh, on my Instagram. And I appreciate y'all so I appreciate y'all for the support and tune in uh, March 20th this Saturday night. Appreciate you.